Hello students, welcome to the channel Top Gate. In this video, I'll discuss one more problem of DFA that is to design a DFA for accepting all strings over the alphabet 0, 1 having second symbol of the string as 0 and fourth symbol as 1. Okay, so we have two conditions in this one. The first condition is the second symbol of the string should be 0 and the fourth symbol of the string should be 1. So, first let us understand what kind of language this is and what is the shortest possible string in this case and then we will design a DFA for this one. So, it is saying that the second symbol should be 0 and the fourth symbol should be 1. Okay? So, that means there will be at least 4 alphabets in the string. So, minimum length of the string will be 4 in any case. So, in the language what we have for a minimum string I need 4 length string. Okay? and the second symbol should be 0, the fourth symbol should be 1. Now, in the first place, I can have 0 or 1. In the third place, I can have 0 or 1. So, in this way, we need to design this, fine. And after this, I can have any symbol, that is the fourth one should be 1 only and after this, I can have anything. But before this, I cannot have anything. Why? Because the second one should be mandatorily 0 and the fourth one should be mandatorily 1. So, I cannot have anything here, but I can have anything on to the right hand side. Okay? So, let us design a DFA for the minimum string first. Minimum string is 0, 1, 0 or 1, then 0, then 0 or 1, then 1. Okay? So, let us start from the initial state that is Q0. Now, at Q0 it is saying I can have anything, either I can have 0 or I can have 1. So, it is like this 0 or 1, then 0, then again 0 or 1, then 1. So, this is the first place, second place, third place, fourth place. So, from Q0 to Q1, I will take a transition of 0, 1, that is either 0 or 1. From Q0 to Q1, I have two paths, 1 for 0 or 1 for 1. I can even write this like, uh, I mean, I, I can even write this one as 0 and 1. So, both are correct, this one or I can simply take a single transition and write 0, 1 there. So, both are correct, no issues in that. The meaning is that at a single time, it will take only one path, either 0 or 1. Okay? So, first one is done. So, for Q0, we are done. At Q1, from Q1 to Q0, so I will take Q0 it is saying that the second symbol of the string should be exactly 0. So, we are done with the second symbol. The third one again anything. So, from Q0 to Q3, I can have 0 or 1. That is also correct. Now, the last one is Q4 will make it as final and it is saying the fourth symbol should be exactly 1. So, second symbol is 0 and the fourth symbol is 1. Now, let us complete this DFA. So, at Q0, I have two paths, 1 for 0, 1 for 1. So, Q0 is complete, it is done now. Come to Q1, Q1 has only a single path, that is 0. It is, uh, it needs a path for 1 also. So, what I can do here? So, at this point, I have to add 1 here, but I have to make sure that the second symbol should be 0. It, this condition should not be violated. Okay? So, what options I can have? If I add a self loop of 1 here, that means 0, 1 and 0, that means second symbol will not be 0 in that case. So, adding a self loop of 1 is not done. Now, I can add 1 from Q1 to Q0, that is I, make, I can make this transition. So, that, that will 0, 1. In that case also, 1 will be the second symbol, 0 will not be the second symbol. So, that is also not correct one. Or I can add Q1 to Q2 then again it is not possible. Why? Because the second symbol again will be 1 only. So, I cannot add 1 anywhere here. Okay? So, what I can do? I can simply take a dead state and whenever we are getting 1 as the second symbol, we will trap it. Okay? So, let us take some dead state, say Q5 and add this with 1. Okay? So, now this one is getting trapped. So, if any time one is the second symbol of the string, then it will get trapped on Q5. Okay? Now, at Q5, I will take anything. That is, it is a dead state. So, I can take anything here. No issues. So, Q0 is done. Q5 is done. Q1 is also done. 
Now come to Q2. So Q2 is complete. Why? Because we have two paths, one for zero, one for one. So this Q2 is also complete. Now come to Q3. Q3, I have one path for one, but I don't have a path for zero. Okay. Now what options I can have? Either I can add a self loop here or I can come to this one or to this one or to this one or to this one. But in any ways, if I add this zero here and come to any state, then this condition will be violated. That is the fourth symbol should be a one. So if in any case I add either a self loop of a zero here or come to Q2 with zero or come to Q1 or come to Q0, in any case, this condition will be violated. So what I'll do, the best thing is we'll sim simply trap this zero. So whenever on the fourth place, any zero comes, I will simply trap it. I'll go to a state Q5, which is a dead state. So this zero will be trapped. Suppose I give you a string as uh, say one, zero, zero, and zero, and one. So first one, second symbol is zero, that is correct. But fourth symbol is not one. So it should not be accepted. So one, zero, zero, and zero, and one. So with this one, I'm getting onto a dead state. I'm getting trapped. So this string is not getting accepted. Okay, that is the correct one. Now Q3 is complete. One path for zero, one path for one. Come to Q4. Now I said that after this one, I can have anything. That is the only condition is the fourth symbol should be a one, but the fifth symbol can be anything. There is no condition like that. So what I can do, I can simply take a self loop of zero comma one here and all the strings will be accepted. The thing is the second symbol will always be the say, zero and the fourth symbol will always be the one in this case. Okay. Thank you so much.